has been, have been, had been. What's the difference among the three? Maybe you're wondering how to use it correctly in a sentence? Watch this video tutorial and I will tell you how. Hello guys, I am back again with another educational video at bago ang lahat, pakilike mo muna itong video na ito, kindly click the like button. If you're new to my channel, I am making video tutorials of English lessons and if you want more educational content from me, do not forget to click the subscribe button, kindly click the red button that says subscribe and also do not forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified for all of my new videos. Before we proceed to our discussion, I just wanna say hello to Ms. Rochelle JL. Finally, nagawa ko na po yung request yung grammar lesson last time. Si Ms. Rochelle JL po ay isang dakilang OFW na nakabase ngayon sa Middle East. Thank you so much po sa panonood ng videos ko. Kamusta po sa lahat ng Pinoy dyan at lagi po kayong mag-iingat. Shoutout din sa lahat ng mga kainday ng Belgianay channel. Maraming maraming salamat po sa suporta. In this video lesson, we will talk about the difference and the correct usage of has been, have been, had been. Marami po sa atin ang nalilito at naguguluan sa paggamit ito. Let's start our simple discussion. I will go now to my computer and I will see you in a bit. Has been, have been, had been. Itong tatlo na ito ay ginagamit kapag ang tense ng verb ay perfect progressive. Para mas maintindihan natin kung ano ba ito, let us have the second slide. Pag-usapan muna natin ang has been at have been. Pinagsama ko sila dahil itong dalawa na ito ay nasa present perfect progressive tense. It goes with this form, has been or have been plus verb in ing form. For example, has been watching, has been searching, have been waiting, have been looking. When we say present perfect progressive, it suggests an action that started in the past but continues in the present. Ibig sabihin, yung action ay nagsimula sometime in the past at nagpatuloy hanggang sa kasalukuyan o nagsimula noon at nangyayari pa rin ngayon. It emphasizes duration or the amount of time that the action has been taking place. Present perfect progressive or tinatawag din natin ito na present perfect continuous tense. Continuous kasi nagpapatuloy yung action kaya sa ating pangungusap, may makikita tayo na duration or amount of time kung kailan nagpapatuloy or nagpatuloy yung action. And most commonly, we used the adverbs for and since to show the duration or yung haba ng panahon na nangyayari yung action. Next, na pag uusapan naman natin ay kung saan specifically ginagamit ang have been at has been. Lagi nating titingnan dito ang ating subject. It has something to do with subject-verb agreement. At kung gusto mong mapanood yung video ko regarding subject-verb agreement, ilalagay ko yung video na yan sa may taas ng screen na to. You can watch that after this video. Okay, going back to our discussion. Have is used for plural subject and has is used for singular subject. Plural subjects, ano-ano ba yun? So we have pronouns like I, you, we, they, and of course, any plural noun. Has been, singular, we use it for singular subjects. We have the pronouns he, she, it, and any singular noun. Let us have examples. Number one, we have the sentence, I have been teaching for four years, or I have been teaching since 2016. Example number two, we have the sentence, It has been raining since yesterday. So let us analyze these two sentences in the next slide. Again, we have the sentence, I have been teaching for four years. The pronoun I is the subject. That is why we used have been. Tingnan natin yung verb. It is in ing form. Teaching. Next, we have the duration or the amount of time for 4 years or since 2016. Meaning to say, nagsimula yung action in the past at nagpatuloy hanggang sa ngayon. Nagsimula akong magturo 4 years ago at hanggang ngayon ay nagtuturo pa rin ako. Number 2, 
we have the sentence, It has been raining since yesterday. The subject is the pronoun it. Pronoun it is singular, so we will use has been. And then ing form of the verb, raining. It has been raining since yesterday. Umuulan simula pa kahapon. These two sentences suggest an action in the past and continues in the present. At this point, pag-usapan naman natin ang had been. Had been is in past perfect progressive tense. Same format. We will be using the ing form of the verb. Had been plus verb in ing form. So pag sinabi nating past perfect progressive, it suggests an action that both begun and ended in the past. So meaning to say, it has two actions at yung dalawang pangyayari na iyon ay nagsimula in the past at natapos din in the past. Hindi siya gaya ng present perfect progressive na nagsimula in the past at nagpatuloy sa present. So ginagamit natin yung had been for both singular and plural subjects. For example, number one, we have the sentence, My father had been smoking for 10 years before he quit. Number two, we have the sentence, I had been editing this tutorial lesson for two hours when my mom called me for a snack. Pag-usapan natin yung dalawang pangungusap na yan sa susunod na slide. Let's analyze statement number one. My father had been smoking for 10 years before he quit. Just like what we said earlier, there should be two actions. In this sentence, smoking and then quit. Naninigarilyo ang tatay ko ng sampung taon bago siya tumigil. Nagsimula yung smoking in the past, tumagal ng 10 years, at itinigil din niya in the past. He quit, so he is no longer smoking. So kung mapapansin natin, parehas itong nagsimula in the past at parehas din na natapos in the past. Di na ito umabot pa sa present. Number two, I had been editing this tutorial lesson for two hours when my mom called me for a snack. Again, meron tayong dalawang actions. Una, nag edit ako at ikalawa, tinawag ako ng nanay ko. So nagsimula yung unang action in the past. Tapos, dumating yung ikalawang action, my mom called me, parehas na nagsimula in the past at natapos din sometime in the past. Past perfect progressive, nagsimula yung dalawang actions in the past at parehas din na nagtapos or natapos in the past. The next slides will be for a short quiz. I have here three statements. For each statement, I will give you 10 seconds to read and answer. After that, I will reveal the answer. Number one, we blank looking for you since 9 o'clock. A, had been. B, has been. C, have been. The correct answer is letter C. Have been. Bakit? Ask yourself, meron ba tayong dalawang actions sa pangungusap na ito? Wala naman, di ba? So, nag-iisa lang yung action. Hinahanap. Looking. So, hinahanap natin siya mula pa nung 9 o'clock. So, tanggal na agad yung choice na had been. Mamimili na lang tayo sa has been at have been. Next thing, we will check the subject. We have the subject we. This is plural. Sabi natin kanina, plural subject will use have. The correct answer will be have been. Sentence number two, we have he blank drinking milk when mom walked into the kitchen. In this sentence, kitang kita na meron tayong dalawang actions. Umiinom ng gatas, tapos naglalakad or nagpunta sa kitchen ang nanay. So for this one, ang tamang sagot ay had been. Letter A. Itong sentence na ito ay nasa past perfect progressive kasi may dalawang pangyayari. Lastly, 
we have the sentence, I blank working at a company for 5 years when I got the promotion. A. Had been. B. Has been. C. Have been. Again, we can see that there are two actions in this sentence, working and then got promoted. So the correct answer will be letter A, had been. There you go, that is the correct usage of has been, have been, and had been in a sentence. I hope na nakatulong itong video lesson na ito sa inyo and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you like to share this video to your classmates, friends, and relatives, kindly click the share button and feel free to share it to them. And for more educational videos, do not forget to click subscribe and ring the bell. Once again, I'm inviting you to watch the other video lessons that I already uploaded in my channel. I will put the links below. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Peace.